Welcome back to Eating the African. My name is Nicholas. It's been a while since we last cooked and today this lady is going to take us through the process. We're going to make a, one of the local dishes in Uganda. We, we have done this kind of video in like four videos but this one is going to be kind of different. This lady here is going to take us through the process so keep watching and if this is your first time here consider subscribing and be part of our growing family. Uh, let me go behind the camera as usual and we capture each and every moment in this video. Welcome to African Way. By, I'm called Goretti. I'm going to teach you how to cook Oluwombo in our local language. It's called Oluwombo Renyama, Ginat with meat. Let's start. I'm going to show you everything. How do we do it? It's going to be nyua, nyua, nyua. Everyone is going to enjoy. Let's go. Mm, today, we are going to, to cook we, we are going to have meat and guinat, but even this food is going to be included because matoke is our staple food. And even the pumpkin is also included, the yam. We don't have greens today, but we are going to use this one as our greens. It's also for us here in Uganda, okay, Uganda as a region, we also use like our greens. Today we are going to cook luwombo for guinat. I don't know how to call it in English, but I do. I know it in Uganda. It's a luwombo, as our as its local name, with meat. We are going to put them in one saucepan, matoke, and the luwombo. Matoke is going to be tied in banana leaves. Not in cavela like others used to do. Cavela is not good. We are going to use banana leaves, as you are going to see in the next part. Today, matoke is not the main issue, no. But just as we are going to cook the wombo, then matoke has to be following the wombo. Yeah. Me, I grew up with my grandmother. She's the one who taught me these things. I didn't go for catering. No, no, I can't lie to you that. Just I'm using my brain. How, when I'm growing there in our village, we used to do these things. At home, we used to, for us at our place, we, did, we never used the, the saucepan for cooking. Everything was even if what, it, you're supposed to put it in Luwombo. Everything, everything, me I know each and every Luwombo. Even if you want for what, for what, I can make it for you. Mm -hmm. This is pumpkin. These are our greens we have. Something special, today we are going to see something special. Some of you, you normally use nakati, what, but also these things are also good. Like, many people, they don't like it because they are bitter, but that bitterness is the one which most people like. Mm. In our local language, we call it obutula. This is the meat which we are going to use in our luombo. We have to smoke it first. When we smoke it, when you smoke the meat, eh, there is that that nice smell which it can smell in, in our guinat. And if you you don't smoke it, the meat which is smoked and the one which is smoked, there is a difference. Even the person who is tasting can see that there is a different way eh, the meat which is smoked and the one which is not smoked. Yeah. These are our greens for today. They are called small eggplants. They are bitter somehow. That's how some people, they don't like them because they are very, very bitter. But that bitterness is the one which we like most of us. They are, well, for us here, in our culture, we mostly use them like as greens. If you don't have greens, you can also use these small, those small eggplants. No using cavera. I don't know how I can say it. I can call cavera in English, but today there is no using poison bags. Some people they like use, using poison bags 
for cooking. No, that is not good. Here in our culture, you ca you, you're not supposed to use what? To use poison bags when you are cooking. This banana fibers, they are very, very good for cooking because even your, the food looks different. They look, the food looks different. The food smells nicely and the hotness of the food. You can cook it from morning up to evening. You can keep it when it is still very, very hot. Uh, this is our banana fiber for today, which we are going to use. Is it banana fiber or banana leaves? Anyway, like as I told you in the beginning, that matoke is not a, the main issue. Our main issue for today is, is about guinat with meat in Luwombo. But we have also included matoke as our local food. Yeah, for today. But let's first prepare matoke, then we prepare our, our Luwombo. Mm. As our lesson for today. This is, for us in our local language, we call it a shibo, but in English, I think, or oh, it's a basket or oh, what? But for us, we call it a shibo. As we are in local, let me use some, some other, some parts I will be using our local language. Then I will try to, this is our banana leaf. We put it like this. Like as I told you in the beginning, that today we are going to learn how to cook luombo for guinat. is the main issue. But this one, which I'm doing now, it is also included as our food, which we are going to use for eating. That's okay. Like as I told you, this is our matoke which we are going to use. This this one in my local language we call them obuwo. I don't know I can use I don't know the English name, but that's how we call it in our language. Yeah. You fold it very properly so that when you are going to to, to cook it, it cannot pour everywhere. Like in the saucepan, what? Me, I grown up with my grandmom. You guys, some of you, you don't want to cook at home. But me, I grown up in the village. I didn't go for catering, what, no. All these things, I learned them from our village. Like, as, we, as here in town, I can't say in Kampala, but in town, you can't find a uh, what a banana leaf which is which is not <laughs> as you can see this one. I don't know how I can mention English. My English you will just but all these banana fibers for in town they are all like this. But this is what I have tried to do. This is my best which I have tried to do. And uh, this is our matoke which we are going to use when we are eating our guinat for luombo. Yeah. For us here in Uganda, we can't cook one food, one type of food. Because you can be eating and a visitor comes. That visitor who comes in when he does it, he or she doesn't eat matoke. Yet you have matoke alone. That's why we most times we cook two or more food. Now, like for today, me, I have decided to use my, this yam, because yam, it is very sweet when you are, when you are eating, when you are eating guinat as a sauce, this yam can also be nice with it. And this one, some, most of you, you know that this pumpkin, the use of the pumpkin. Yeah. These things have to be inside the saucepan. So that our food water cannot be in too much in Matoke. That, but there in the village we don't use this. But as we are in town, 
I'm supposed to use them. In village, we, we use these ones because there are many there in the village. But as I'm in town now, I'm decided to use these ones. Yeah. So compare with this. Now we are finished with our matoke. We are going to prepare our luombo as our main topic for today. This is our luombo. They are supposed to be two. The small one has to be inside, then this big one. We will place it in our basket. You wash your hands, sanitation is needed everywhere. You have to be clean. This is our meat which we are going to use today. The one which we have been smoking. We have finished to smoke it. Then you have to cut it in the pieces you want. If you want big pieces, it is okay. But for us, we are going to use medium size. This are our mpombo. These mpombos, they are from banana fibers. They are also called banana leaves. They are also called banana leaves. Sorry for the fibers. But they are also from banana leaves. If you want to know how it is prepared, you check on the channel, it is also there. The what? The lesson is also there, how do you smoke this one. How you smoke this one. This is the guinness which you are going to use. Me, I just like this, the type which is like this. That's why I decided to use this one. These are our guinnards. I'm finished with them, which are going to use today. This is the salt, which we are going to use. I have put there salt, onion, just the on, little onion, little green pepper. But if you don't have them, it is also okay. You can just put your guinnard because this uluombo, the, the banana leaf, can also give its own taste. But if you want, you can put there onion or what, whatever you want. This is our meat which we are going to use. We are finished to smoke it. If you smoke the meat, don't wash it again. Slowly. Now others are asking, how is it going to be ready? How, I'm going, how are the guinnards going to be ready? You will see it when we are finished to prepare it. Yeah, the first one is done. This is the first one we have today. Now I'm going to make the second one, the second one. Our guinnards, a guinnard with the wombo. This is our second wombo, which we are going to cook today. This so one first, slowly, slowly by slowly. And then this one, these are our pombos and this is our matoke. We have put them in one saucepan. This is our second type of food which we have, like as I told you before, that for us here, you can't cook one type of food. As I told you, these are our greens, small egg plants. We are going to use them today as our greens. Most of you, you use nakati, what? There's even that ready greens. 
but first we will decide to use this one, the small eggplants. I'm going to put them in this. I fold it. I fold it. I fold it like this, so that our small eggplants cannot go. I know most of you are going to ask him like, why, why is she calling them greens? For us here, we, we, we call them greens because they are very, very bitter. Even they are more, they are bitter, bitter. They, we use them. Now I have put them in, in our banana fiber. You fold it so that they can't get poured in, in, when you are cooking them. Tie them properly like this. You place it here. Today, our main topic is guinnard and beef luombo. Is the is our main topic for today? Like as I told you in the beginning, we decide to put, we decide to to include the amatoke as our local dish here in. In Uganda, that is our local dish. That's why we decide. Some others can say, "Why not kalo? Why not what?" But for us here, that is our local dish which we have here in Uganda. In Uganda, as a region, mm. the use of these banana fibers, the food can smell nicely. The food can be warm from morning. It can be hot, like from, if you have cooked it in the morning, it can be hot from, meaning like, till late. These things can also help the food to smell nicely. It can give the food appetite. This one, we call it for us oluina. This one, the one which I have tied it like this. That's we call it oluina. It also helps you, it, it keeps the hotness hotness of the food. Now I'm done I'm done with with our luombo. The next step is steaming it as you are going to see. Now this is our local fire our local fire fireplace for today which we have used. Like we are going to wait like one and a half hour, so don't go anywhere, we are going to enjoy it together. Now our food is ready, we are going to smash our food, then we serve it. We have finished to prepare our matoke. Now it's ready to be eaten. I'm going to serve it. But as I told you in the first phase that our, our main issue for today is about the luombo. Now our luombo is done. I'm going to show you how our meat is. Is it hard or it is soft? Yeah. 
This is our luombo. You have to untie it first. Then, wow! <laughs> Please come, we enjoy. Greetings, greetings. Mwazuka <laughs> Bwandi, Kodeo, Kopanga, Yoganoi, Shikamo Habari, Koizeo Mulembe. Sani Bonani, Sanu, Aslema, Bonju, Botenayo, Botenayo. The spirit of Africa is within us. Bold, strong, rich. United. Welcome back from that short break. <laughs> so we've been here waiting for Apo to get ready. I know today you, you have seen something different from uh, the recent videos. It has been a while since we last uh, cooked uh, a Ugandan meal. So today we are back to our style. So thank you so much for keeping yourself on eating the African way. I think we, this is the time to eat and uh, hmm, share with you. I know those in the diaspora, how, how long have you taken without eating this kind of food or this kind of cooking? How long have you taken? Hmm? I think you need to find time and come back home and enjoy. <laughs> so let us get into our dish. Luwambo, Luwambo. <laughs> Hope you can see this. <laughs> ah, that was hot. <laughs> so you can join us wherever you are. You can join us spiritually. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Spiritually, you can be here when you're watching this video. Mm, we are, we are, you are part of this family and we will always invite you to join us. So this video was about... Uh, groundnut beef wombo. I know you have learned this. We have, learned, we have shown you all the steps. All the steps from the start to the end. And the end is always eating. Hmm? Nothing but the end. We just eat as we, we wear your gaze as we talk. <laughs> hmm. As you're watching this video, uh, feel free to request for another video. Any request, you can, you can do that for you. I've been doing requests, uh, recent videos. Uh, we made the salads. Someone requested for that. Uh, also, when we, were, when we were starting this channel, someone started, someone requested for this video. Today, I started to do it. <laughs> so as you know, mm, African traditional setting, when it comes to food, we always cook a variety, as you can see. We have, uh, we have yams, we have pumpkin, we have matoke. And there are so many foods we didn't cook in this because our concentration was on groundnut beef luomba. <laughs> I think I should, I should become a full-time eater because I, I think I can eat, mm. as you can see. Mm. So these are called uh, small bitter eggplants. They are bitter, but uh, you cannot avoid eating them. Mm? Mm. Mm. <laughs> so this was the reason for this video. But what I be a cause you? Ugali, sukuma wiki, fufu, ah. fry stew, agidi, and a lot more. Mwebali, afuyo mate, asante. <laughs> so, where do you want to send us next? Uh, is it Kalamoja? Is it uh, Western Uganda? Is it uh, Eastern Uganda? So, tell us the video you want to see from other regions, we'll go there and do those videos for you. 
I think I should mention some names. Uh, I have uh, I have two brothers who are single. Uh, Kelly and uh, Mr. John, you are single. <laughs> uh, and you, you can get this 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 lady for you for yourself. <laughs> and David, don't bother to join us because you don't, you don't invite us when you're cooking. So don't come. <laughs> I know the ladies on this channel, those are in Arab countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, Dubai. Thank you so much for watching. I think, thank you so much for the support. Those in UK, United States, uh, Russia. <laughs> Where I'm trying to recall all the countries that are my audience. Thank you so much for being part of eating the African way. Mm, Doreen, Maureen, Chivumbi. Kalis, Kalis, yes, Kalis. If I mention all the names, I'm not, I'm not going to end this video. There are so many people uh, who are, are among the family. Thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for the, all the engagement, the comments that keep on flowing in. Thank you so much for watching. Hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm always motivated whenever I see those comments, whenever I see all the message from you, all the love. Don't forget, we have a, is it super thanks? Thanks, super, super thanks. Yes, you can also support us through that. And we do more videos. Hmm? <laughs> so you have the join button. The join button is on the channel. Please join it. We also need, we need more support. We need more support. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much for all the support. Wherever you are, we still need more people. We need more family members to join. Please give birth. We need more people. Hmm? <laughs> we still need more people on the channel. Hmm. I don't want to finish all this. Uh, my cameraman is there. I think we are going to share this. Mm. I need someone who is a vegetarian to be behind the camera because I need to get enough time to eat this food. Mm? <laughs> mm. And also, food. Mm. So blessed. But <laughs> 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 mm. let me enjoy. Life is too short. In Sudan, mm. we have Kisra. My Ugandan family, El Marara, you need to eat this, you need to taste this. In Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. we have groundnut stew. I think I've tasted, tasted everything on this, on this table. <laughs> this is our traditional table, the mat. Mm -hmm. We have tasted everything. I need uh, let me leave some for my cameraman, also to have something to eat. I think this, this can be the end of this video. Thank you so much for being part of it, the African way. Thank you so much, so much for being part of the growing family. Uh, I think I've, I've talked enough, I've said enough. Don't forget, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Keep the engagement coming in, keep the comments coming in. What else? I think I'm out of the ones. <laughs> Catch up in the next video. Bye bye.